Um, I have spent most of my life uh, serving the residents in the city of Flint through various different capacities. I, I started out uh, working with block clubs and uh, organizing block clubs, chairing of the uh, Citizens District Council, um, and uh, uh, organizing uh, cleanups throughout the city, and um, working as a city councilman. I have a strong passion uh, for community and economic development, public safety, and uh, 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 for what's in the best interest for the residents in the city of Flint. It's not just what I do for the Fifth Ward. When I got on council, I, one of the first initiatives that I, that I uh, addressed was the Smith Village project that had been neglected for since 1998. And that project is now uh, moving forward to where uh, residents are, uh, new homes are being built and residents Thank are you, moving in. As a city council person for the 7th Ward, um, I'm not bound by the boundaries of the 7th Ward. Um, I have done marriage counseling and, fair, and family counseling since 2004. I touch people wherever I go. For some, they haven't seen me in this community, but I've been involved in the community. And so for me, I would be beneficial to the people of Flint because I love the city of Flint. This is where I live, I've raised my children here, and so it's important to me. It's, it's who I am, and so I'm willing to work with everyone. The seventh ward is not just where we live. We live in the fifth ward, we live in the fourth ward, we live all over. Our kids commute with people that, you know, everywhere, and so I would be a good asset. I don't come with the, the um, what would you say, the endorsements, because I'm free to be a resident to choose what's best for the residents. And I'm Monica Galloway. <laughs> Am I up? You are up. My name's Alex Harris, if I didn't <laughs> Microphone, please. There we go again. Let me tell you what I will do by uh, reverse process, what I won't do. What I won't do or allow is your opinions, your voice, and your right to petition your government to make decisions as to what's best for this community. What I won't do is sit by idly while the farmer's market is sold off to a private concern. What I won't do is sit by while Genesee Towers and the nine million that the taxpayers expended allow that to just sit by idly while we then pay, again, that private uh, concern a great deal of money to, uh, to uh, demolish it. What I won't do is sit by idly and allow Atwood Stadium to be sold off. I'm not telling you that these things are bad. What I'm telling you is the people have been precluded from the right to decide what's best for them. Thank you, these Mr. are the Thank things you, I won't Mr. allow. Harris. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, next question. Be starting with Ms. Van Buren. Jobs, employment, and economic development. What plans do you have for all three? I believe that anything that is passed through City Council when we bring businesses into the area, we need to have some type of commitment that they are also going to employ our people. That it's not just people from the outside, they do everything they can to bring our people into those jobs, just like with Diplomat Pharmacy being here. They have taken great efforts to bring in hundreds of people into that technology area, and they're still trying. Now we have something new that's coming up in the Civic Park area. That too, we need to have our people involved. It's a training center for young mothers or uh, people who need a skill, but let's continue to have, look out for our people, so whatever, happens in the city of Flint, we need to make sure there are employment possibilities available and we need to constantly stay on top of that. Thank you. Mr. Davis. What I'm going to do as city councilman, I may do something that people has never, probably never did. I want to consult with Washington, D.C. I want to do my research and find out who may be up there that may want to invest into our city. Washington is the parent of all states. 
The children, the mother never knows that the children is hungry unless the children tell the mother that they're hungry. If we found some investors up in Washington, D.C. that may consider about investing into our city, the first thing they're going to find out is when they do their research is we had the strongest, most powerful workforce in America under the auspice of General Motors. If we can put another institution in that city that is just as demanding as General Motors, manufacturers, retail, people say, well, skilled workers. Well, when people was working in General Motors, I know my parents wasn't skilled. You know, this will help generate revenue in our city. If we can get investors to come in our city, and this will go actually go against the master plan because if we get investors coming here, people coming back, and they won't have nowhere to live. But we can get that in order too, and these are the things that I want to do for my city. I want to get ready and go to work the first week I'm in. And get, okay, get, get Mr. To, Davis. Uh, what would I do to uh, attract jobs, employment, economic development? Uh, I think we have the perfect infrastructure here in the city of Flint to attract manufacturers to come uh, to relocate here in the city of Flint. Uh, New York City is, is, is a perfect example of, uh, of that uh, uh, site for an infrastructure for a manufacturer to come here to, to be relocated. I think we need to look at uh, more of the green job energy jobs that, that are available. Uh, we need to partner with the federal government, but we also need to partner with our financial, excuse me, our educational institutions here, uh, like Kettering and University of Michigan Flint, and get them to work with us to uh, help create some of those green energy jobs here. Wind turbine uh, is, is, is a big um, uh, uh, energy reduction costs that we have here in the U.S. and that the federal government is investing in. So we have the infrastructure, we have the institutions here, we need Thank to partner you, with Lawler. them. Thank, Thank you. One of the things that um, we definitely know that we need to bring jobs, but we need an educated workforce. We need educated people. General Motors is no longer what we're we're surviving on. Um, so the days of our grandparents and our parents not having education, it worked for them. It doesn't work today. And so what we have to do, if we want these jobs to come in and we want them to hire so many Flint residents, and I agree with that, but they shouldn't be compromised. We owe it to those businesses that come into our area. You don't have to have a degree, but there are skills and trades that you can learn. You must invest in yourself if you want these business owners to invest in you and to come into Flint. And so I believe that we have to prepare ourselves. If we want the onslaught of these businesses to come in, what are we doing today to prepare ourselves for those jobs? Uh, could you repeat, please? Yes, it's jobs, employment, and economic development. What plans do you have for all three? In one minute. Yes. <laughs> God sakes, boy, I'm really impressed here. Let me tell you, folks, our community is well short of where we need to be in many areas. We all know that. What I would propose and strongly advocate for is heavy, heavy use of tax abatements, substantial tax abatements. Bring new business in with, of course, that inducement that they can have the opportunity to invest in our community while, while providing the necessary jobs we all need. The fact of it is, fact of it is that our community, when we have these jobs provided, well, I'm sitting here trying to figure out how do I get this in in one minute. I probably won't. But the fact of it is that the tax abatements need to have a stipulation. And that stipulation is if we don't provide the necessary jobs that they advocated for or they propose, then we can pull and ask for a cancellation. Time of the time, Mr. Harris. So I said you. one minute just doesn't do it for me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand exactly what Mr. Harris means. Uh, as a council person, I would look at uh, working with stakeholders and different uh, commission and advice commission and bringing strong industrial jobs in here to the city that bring and middle wages. We need companies to come in, um, and we know that union jobs is what caused us to be the middle class. 
family that we was. So one of my focuses is try to turn some of that line and go out and look at an investor that would like to come to Flint. And we do have to concentrate on strong tax abasement with condition that these young company that comes in, they have to take care of us like General Motors took care of us with tax abasement. Uh, economic development and, and also required internet access. This city infrastructure need everybody to be able to get on the internet. And that term for that is bridging the digital divide. We need internet accessibility for people to find good jobs and be able to have the training they need through use of the internet. Okay.